Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So today we are going to discuss a very important application that is the best approximation using least square method. Now suppose we have some data. This is my x axis, this is my y axis and suppose some data is given to me. I take one data point here, then I have this point, something like this one. So, this is my, I can write this a x1, y1 point, this is x2, y2 and this is in the end I have x and y n. So, these points are the random points that is given and I do not know that where they lie. They may lie on a straight line or they may be uh, spread over the given x y plane. So, in this case now the question is that we want to fit a line passing through through these points. So, I have written that the passing through these points. So, I know that I can fit a line that is passing through all this point. So, this is possible this is possible if all the points are collinear. That is all the points lie in a line. So, in that case what we how we will find out that what we are going to do that let so, let us take a line that is I am writing as y is equal to maybe I will write a x plus b. This is my line. Now, I will substitute the first point here. So, I will write a x 1 plus b and so this is equal to y 1 a x 2 plus b that is equal to y 2 and from here I will get a x n plus b that is equal to y n. So, I do not know whether these points are collinear or not, but I want to approximate these points with a line. So, I want to fit a line that is passing through this point. So, and it will pass through these points only when it is collinear, otherwise I want that the line how it is going to pass from this one. So, this is I want to fit. So, so I can say that we want to fit a line from the given data for given data points. maybe I can write this way. Now, so let us uh, I do not claim anything I will do with this one now first. So, I want to fit a line. So, I have taken a line the equation of a line and then I put the value here and so this is equal to this value. Now, from here if you see I can write this in the matrix form. So, I will get the value here this is my x 1, x 2, x n and this is 1, 1, 1, 1 all these ones and here I can take a b and this is equal to y 1, y 2, y n. Now, if you see from here 
So, I can write this as a matrix A and this is I write a vector. So, this matrix is if you see from it is dimension n cross 2, this is 2 cross 1 and this will be n cross 1. So, this matrix is of order of dimension n cross 2. Now, we are assuming here. So, assuming here we are assuming that all x i's are distinct. It means uh, x i is not equal to x j for any i j. It means they all are distinct. So, from here if you see then this is a system of equation. So, I can write this as A and maybe I can write this vector V is equal to Y. This one I can write. Now, from here if you see I am taking the uh, the second column is 1 1 1 and the first column is x 1, x 2, x 3 and I am saying that all these are distinct. Now, from here I can say that the rank of A is 2. Now, we have rank of this matrix 2. So, this is the basically this system is I can say that number of equations are greater than number of variables. The number of variables is only 2. I want to find the value of a and b for this line. Okay. So, I assume that let us this is a line which is going to fit for the given data. So, I need to find the value of a and b. Now, if this line is there I put the value of x all these x coordinates and suppose it is equal to y 1, y 2, y n. Okay. So, if this is the system we get where the number of equation is greater than equal to I can say the number of variables and this system is called over determined system. system of equations. So, rank is 2. Now, from here if you see from here then this is equal to I am writing A and this is x 1, x 2, x n. I can write this as a B 1, 1, 1 and it is equal to y 1, y 2, y n this one. Now, two things happens. Now, in this case because it is the number of equations are greater than number of variables. So, this system I can write this system as this is my equation number 1 and I can write this h 2, this I can write as a 3. Now, system 2 may have solution. Now, the question is that when it can have the solution. Now, if, if the vector so, if the vector this one y 1, y 2, y n this is right hand side vector I just take the transpose here. If the vector this belongs to column space of this vector the column space of 
this vector x 1, x 2, x n and 1, 1, 1 because if you see this one it is it belongs to they belongs to R n. So, now if this vector belongs to the column space of this one then then the system has solution and in this case I know that this matrix is of dimension n cross 2. So, it is rank cannot be more than 2, but here the column vector are linearly independent. So, the rank of this matrix is 2. Now, from here we can say that if the vector this belongs to the column space then the system has solution has in fact unique solution. And if this is there this is possible only when all the points all the data points I can say and this is possible only if all the data points are collinear. It means this is this system is going to have the solution when all the data points will lie in a line like this one. If the I see this one, so these points I have taken all lying in the line. So, if I fit a line from these points then this system is going to have the solution. All the points lying completely on the line, these points are completely on the line, not away from the line. This is my line and this is I can write that this is y is equal to a x plus b. So, if this system has a solution then all the points are going to lie on the line. Now, but in general our data is spread over the whole domain x y they are not lying on the x y uh, on a uh, in a line because this uh, data points are coming from some experiment. So, in this case now, now if the data points are not collinear that is they are sparse the points are spread all over the domain the data points are spread in the x y plane. So, that is there which implies that the system a v is equal to y is inconsistent. Inconsistent means this system is not going to have the solution. So, that is there. Now, so in that case what we are going to do? Now, it means that in this case A V if I take Y and taking its norm that is basically we are dealing with the. So, if now if this is 0 then system is consistent and having unique solution. But if we take a y minus y and suppose this is not 0 then the system is inconsistent. 
So, this system I cannot solve with the method. So, you can see from here that basically this is what it is a error. Now, from here what we are going to do is that if you see from here then I can write this as maybe I can write y minus a v. This if you see square this is equal to y 1 minus a x 1 plus b because this is giving the error basically. So, this is basically the error this is basically the error. So, this is equal to uh, square because I am taking the 2 norm here. So, then it will be equal to y 2 minus a x 2 plus b and y n minus a x n plus b this one I can take. And if you see from here then this is I am taking the because what I am going to do is that suppose I take a line passing through this point. So, the error will be just this will be the error this will be the error this will be the error this is the error corresponding to this x actual value is this one and by the line we are consuming this one. So, it is my E 1 basically I can write. So, from here if you see then this is equal to E 1 square E 2 square and E n square. Now, our so now we come to know that I cannot uh, fit a line which is passing through all this point. So, but that is not possible. So, now we want a line which is passing through which is passing close to all the points this is what I can do. So, from here it is y minus a v square that is equal to this one. So, now what I want that we want to minimize y minus a v. So, I want to minimize this one and I will minimize over the value of a and b because that value I have to find the, the coefficients in the line a b a x plus b. So, I want to min minimize this error basically. So, this is called the minimizing the error. So, if I able to minimize this one then I will get a line which is passing close to all the points and if you see now this one then this method is called we have least square method the least square solution. So, why it is called we are taking the square. So, this is the square of the error if you see then this is the square of the error and I am finding the minimization. So, I am finding the least of all this one. So, that is why this name is called the least square method. So, our main purpose is here to minimize this error term the square of the errors. So, I want to do this one. So, that is called my least square method and this is the best approximation that is we uh, discuss now, so let us uh, I just give one example that how it is happening here. Uh, I just take one example. Suppose I take a line, suppose I have a point 1, 1, 2, 2, maybe 3, 3. 4, 4, I have 4 points and I know that these points are collinear points. The 4 points are there, but if you draw these points then 
it is suppose one point is here, another is here, another is here, another is here. So, all the points lying on this line. So, I know that this is a line y is equal to x. <coughs> okay. Now, I take that let, so let us take a line y is equal to a x plus b. <coughs> Now, from here I can write, so A 1 plus B is equal to 1, A 2 plus B is equal to 2, A 3 plus B is equal to 3, A 4 plus A into, so this is into B plus 4 and from here I can write a matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 1, 1, this is the matrix and this is my A, B and that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now from here if you see I can solve this system because here if you see from here then this vector can be written as a linear combination of these two. So, this vector lies in the column space of this matrix A. And now also if you see from here I can solve it very easily by the standard method. I can write the augmented matrix So, this is the augmented matrix I can write. 1, 2, 3, 4 and then it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and I can make this. So, this is 1, 1, 1. Now, if I multiply by minus 2 and add here, so it will be 0, minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 and 0. Now, it is 0, 0 minus 3 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 this is also 0 and this is basically minus 3 and this is 0. And from here I will write this as 1 1 1 and this is 0 1 0 and then I can write 0 0 because I know the rank of this matrix. So, rank of A is same as rank of augmented matrix I can write like this one. So, the system is consistent and if you see from here then if I want to find out the solution. So, the solutions will be A plus B is equal to 1 here and then I get B is equal to 0. So, from here I will get A is equal to 1. So, that gives me solution that A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0. So, I get the line A is equal to x and I already know that this is going to the solution. So, this is a collinear points and we are able to solve this point. Now, suppose we have points maybe I just take point 0 1 1 2 and 2 4. Suppose I take these points I just take the three points and I just take the equation. So, now I get A into 0 plus B is 1 A into 1 plus 2 plus b is equal to 2 and a into 2 plus b is equal to 4. I just taken this line. So, I assume a line that is y is equal to a x plus b and from here I will get the matrix that is 0 1 2 1 1 1 a b and this is equal to b 1 2 4. 
So, this is my system of equation and I know that this matrix is uh, having the rank 2 no problem. Now, from here I write its augmented matrix So, that is I am writing 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1 and the right hand side column is 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4 that is my augmented matrix. I will reduce the into row echelon form. So, reduce this one it will be now in this case I just swap the first and the second row it is 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, 4 and now from here I can write I can make it echelon form. So, I want to reduce echelon form. So, this one I want to do now it is already 0. So, I will 1, 1 now I want to make this 0. So, minus 2 and adding here. So, minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 and minus 2 is minus 4 plus 4 that is 0. So, from here if you see now I am writing 1 1 2 0 1 1. Now, adding so, I add this one. So, it will be 0 and adding here it will be 1. So, I can say from here that the rank of augmented matrix is 3, but the rank of A is 2. So, if you see this is the A matrix. So, rank is 2 and the whole the augmented matrix the rank is 3. So, in this case I can say that the system is inconsistent. So, this system is inconsistent I cannot solve this one. So, it means that we cannot find a line which is passing through all this point. Okay. So, from here that we find that the system is inconsistent. So, now our next step is we need to find a line. So, we need to find a line which pass which passes closest to all the data points. So, this is what I need to do to find out the the line fit. So, this one we need to do. So, how we can do this one because I found that the system is inconsistent. So, if the system is inconsistent then how I am going to solve this system. So, that is the one of the main uh, question for finding this uh, system or the solution of this one. So, now we are going to introduce a important thing is that now if you see from here I have this matrix this is my matrix. So, I have my matrix here now we have a v is equal to y and my a is 0 1 1 1 2 1 and my y is 1 2 4. Now, I know that these two vectors. So, this vector and this vectors are linearly independent okay. and also. So, this vector 0 1 2 the first column so, I can take transpose here and 1 1 1 transpose this belongs to R 3 and are linearly independent. It means that 
they so this spans if I take this vectors and finding their span is a subspace of R 3. So, this is a subspace of R 3 basically. Now, if you see from here that this is a subspace 0 1 2 okay, this vector and 1 1 1 they are linear independent is a subspace of R 3. So, let right here. So, I just take the three dimensional plane. So, three dimensions we have this is x, y, z and suppose this is some plane. I just make a plane here. So, suppose this is a subspace made up of these factors of course, it will be a plane. Now, I know that this vector, so this system is inconsistent which implies that y this vector 1, 2, 4 does not lie in the column space of the matrix A. It means this vector 1, 2, 4 so, if I take any point, so this 1, 2, 4 is not lying on this plane in this uh, subspace. So, it may be somewhere here. Let us write that this is my vector 1, 2, 4 like this one and this is the uh, subspace S. So, I just write it S. This is a subspace because if this point lies in this plane in this subspace then the system will be consistent but now we know that this is inconsistent so it is not lying here so what is we are going to do is now we are going to take the projection of this vector on this plane so we are going to take the projection of this vector over this plane so that this is right angle. So, this is suppose my I have a system A V is equal to Y then so this is my suppose Y. Now, this is the the projection of this vector on this space. So, this is suppose my new Y I call it Y hat. So, now I can say that the y hat is a projection of y on the subspace S. So, now we need to find that how we can take the projections of this space subspace projection of this vector on the subspace S. So, this is what we have done in the theory. So, now we do this one in generalization. So, let us uh, do how we can take the projection. Now, we do for generalization. So, how to take projection? of y on the subspace S. This one we want to see. Okay, so, let us see that how we can do this one. Now, so we just take the generalization. I have A, okay, I have some maybe I just take x is equal to B. I will write this is a general space. So, let us take this one. 
So proof. So here we are going to do. Let us assume a system of equation A x is equal to B, where A is something like having two columns only because I know I always having two columns. So, it is going to have the A 1 and A 2. So, this is the two columns is going to have because in this case we have always n cross 2 and my x is 2 cross 1 and on the right hand side I have B that is B 1, B 2, B. So, this is n cross 1. So, always we are going to have. Now, I know that this vector is now we know that that B does not like in the column space of A. So, that is does not like column space of A. <coughs> okay. So, now I will just make a some three dimensional space and suppose this is my plane space S is equal to the span of A 1, A 2 and suppose this is my x I am just considering it in the three dimension and we have a vector which is lying here. This is my vector b and I take its projection here and I get this vector. This is my projection vector. So, I call it maybe p and this is my basically b hat the new projection vector. So, this one I want to find and I know that this is equal to error this part. Now, we assume that A 1 and A 2 are Li linearly independent because they are always linearly independent. So, we assume here that they are linearly independent. So, the space subspace S is A 1 span by A 1 A 2 and dimension of S will be 2 in this case. Now, that is ok. So, now once we have the projection the B dash then now we have our system new system that is new system that is having the same x, but on the right hand side we have a new B. So, in that case we need to solution and that solution will be a new solution that is x hat I am writing. So, x hat is an is an solution is a solution of A x hat is equal to B. So, this is the solution of this one. Now, if you see from here this is the error E. So, what is E? E is basically if you see that is B minus B hat because this is B and this is B hat. So, it is B minus B hat. Okay. So, now from here now we know that from the this place I know that B hat is perpendicular to B minus B hat 
and b hat I know that this is a x equal to b. So, from here I can write that b hat is perpendicular to b minus a x hat I can write like this one. So, from here I can write now from this b hat is lying in the, the subspace s. So, I can write that also b hat belongs to the subspace s which implies that b hat can be written as some linear combination I can write c 1 a 1 plus c 2 a 2. Okay, so, from here I can write so, this one I can write that c 1 a 1 plus c 2 a 2 that is my uh, b hat that is perpendicular to b minus a x hat this one I can write. And from here very easily I can write that because this a 1 and a 2 already lying in this one uh, a 1 and a 2 are lying on the in the subspace and this vector uh, error vector is perpendicular to the whole s because this is making the right angle triangle here. So, this vector b, b hat is lying in the s space and this vector is perpendicular to this one. So, now from here I can say that the a 1 is also perpendicular to b minus this part and a 2 is also perpendicular to b minus a this part. So, if you from here I can write that a 1 transpose is b minus a x hat is 0 I am taking the dot product. So, in the matrix form and from here I can write a 2 transpose b minus a x hat equal to 0. Okay, so, from these two equations I can write that the mat a 1 transpose I can write a 2 transpose that is I just take because my matrix is if you see my matrix is a 1 and a 2 the column vectors. Now, I have a 1 transpose and a 2 transpose as row vectors. So, this is if you see that is equal to a transpose. So, I can write from here. So, this is my vector taking the dot product with this vector and that is 0 0. So, this is my matrix A transpose. So, from here I can write that I very easily I can write that this is equal to A transpose B minus A x hat equal to 0. From here I can write this is A transpose in the matrix form I can write and that gives me that the A transpose B minus A transpose A x hat equal to 0 and from here I get that A transpose A x hat is equal to A transpose B and this one now since A since rank of A is 2 rank of A transpose A is also 2 and invertible. So, this will be invertible. So, from here I can write that my x bar will be A transpose A inverse A transpose B. So, that will be my approximate solution for the given system this one. So, using this one I am able to find x hat. So, this is my x hat. Now, so from here you can see that and if you see from here 
this is b hat that is equal to a x hat ok. So, from here now what is a x hat? So, a x hat I can write as a a transpose a inverse a transpose b ok. Now, that is equal to b hat because we have already seen. So, this equation I can give the maybe I can give name uh, 1 I have started from generalization. So, this is my basically generalization I have started. So, after that I got maybe I should write it as 1 this is my equation number 1 now this is 2 and I can write this as equation number 3. Now from here this is equal to this. So, from here I can write a projection matrix P which I apply on B I get B hat. So, where P is my matrix A, A transpose A inverse A transpose. So, this is called projection matrix. So, if I use this matrix on any vector, so what is it do? It will project that vector into the subspace made by the columns of A that we have already seen. So, that is why it is called the projection matrix. Now, so this is a projection matrix uh, we have. Now, if we we have some properties of a projection matrix because if you see then I want to find out what are the properties of the projection matrix. So, let us see this one. So, P is the projection matrix. So, if it is a projection matrix then some properties of the projection matrix that some important condition it has to satisfy it. First thing is that P transpose is equal to P and that you can check that if I take A, A transpose A inverse A transpose transpose. So, this can be written as A transpose transpose A transpose inverse and then transpose and A transpose and this is equal to A and I know that A transpose I can write as transpose inverse a transpose and A transpose A is symmetric we already know then this is equal to again A inverse A transpose. So, this is again the P. So, it is symmetric because we are taking the projection and taking the transpose. So, it does not matter. The second one is that if we take the projection two times. Now, if you see from here if I have taken the projection of this vector and it reaches here. Now, I apply the same projection here it is not going to change because this vector is already in the, uh, in the subspace S. It means that my P square should be equal to P. So, let us uh, see this one. So, P square is A, A transpose A inverse a transpose I write this one and then A, A transpose A inverse A transpose and this is I can write as A, A transpose A inverse A transpose A, A transpose and if you see from here I just take these two then this is I and from here I can write. So, I can write here then this is A, A transpose A inverse A transpose and that is equal to P. 
So, it is P square is equal to P. So, from here we can check, see that this is, is my projection matrix. So, now the things is that, that how we are going to solve the system. So, this system we are going to solve. So, the in the nutshell what we can say that now we have a system A x is equal to B and this system is inconsistent and this system is coming from least square. Then we take A transpose A x is equal to A transpose B and from here and we found that A transpose A is invertible and we found A transpose A, A transpose B. So, this x we get this value. So, this x is x hat and that will be the corresponding approximate solution. So, this is my approximate solution of A x is equal to B. So, this is the solution after doing this one we get that this matrix or this uh, line will pass through the data closest to all the data. So, that is the meaning of least square. So, let us uh, uh, just quickly I will do one example. Now, suppose I have the data points. 0, 1, it is 1, 1, it is 2, 1, 3, 1. Suppose I take 4 points and these are data points. So, the question is fit a line. So, we want a fit a line. So, let I take a line y is equal to A x plus P. So, from here I will get my system A into 0 plus B is equal to 1, A into 1 plus B is equal to 1, A into 2 plus B is equal to, I just take No, no, it is. I have taken 3, now I just 4 and 4. This is the data point I am taking 0, 1, 2, 3. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, and this is 1, 3, 4, 4. Suppose I take these points. So, I get the matrix A as 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, it is 4 cross 2 and this is my A B and this is 1, 3, 4, 4, this value I have taken. So, from here I have a system A x is equal to B, this is my system. Now, I want to solve this system. So, I will use the octave for this one because we have to do a lot of calculation here. So, in this I will just because and any student who has a difficulty with octave or MATLAB then he or she can take the help of my another course that is scientific computing using MATLAB. So, you can go through that few, few videos that teach that how we can work in MATLAB or octave. So, now we are going to define the matrix A here. So, this is the matrix I am going to have. So, matrix A is basically I am writing 0, 1 and then 1, 1 and then 2, 1 and 3, 1. 
So, this is the matrix we got. Now, on the right hand side I have a vector b. So, that is the column vector. So, I will just take the vector 1 3 4 4. So, 1 3 4 4 this vector. Now, I know that I want to take the I want to just check that whether this is going to have a solution or not. So, I what I do I uh, found the augmented matrix. So, I just write A A that is the augmented matrix and that matrix I can write as A here and then B. So, this is my augmented matrix and there is a inbuilt form that is row reduce echelon form of the matrix A A. Okay, so, this one is I just write, so I found this value. So, this is basically from here I found that the system is inconsistent because the rank of A A if you see the rank of A A is 3 and the rank of if I found A then you can check from here that it is 2. So, it, the system is inconsistent I can write that system is is inconsistent. Now, what we need to do we have to apply the the least square method. So, what I want to do is that now I will take the matrix I get the matrix uh, I found first I found the transpose. So, I will take A this into A. So, that is my matrix A transpose A. So, maybe I can write here I can just write B is equal to transpose because some commands may be not here. So, it is a transpose of the matrix B. So, I can write here B into A actually I have not written the star here. So, no problem. So, this is my matrix and I know that this is this matrix will be invertible. So, I need to find the solution. So, I have to solve this one. Now, to find this solution I have to find A transpose A x is equal to A transpose B. I have changed the system basically and now from here I can find x bar is this is my A transpose A inverse A transpose into B. So, that will be my solution in this case. So, I need to find out this value. So, this is my inverse I have taken A transpose A I just found the A transpose A. this one now I want to find the inverse of this. So, I can find um, I can write in inverse of B as inverse of the matrix B. B star sorry B star A not B B star A or I can write this answer A n s this one. So, that is my inverse. Now, from here I can write now the inverse B because I need uh, now we have A inverse B into A transpose because I need to find. So, I have taken this value now I have to multiply by A transpose into B. So, this one I need to do. So, I have to take multiplication now first I will do I just take so this matrix and multiply by A transpose. So, 
that is B. So, this is my matrix and now I just take answer and multiply by B. So, that is my solution. So, from here if you see that A is 1 and B is 1.5. Now, if you see from here my x bar is coming 1 and 1.5, you can see from here 1 and 1.5. So, which implies that my line is A is 1. So, x plus 1.5 that is y is equal to this one. So, that is my line because a value the value of a is 1 here and b is 1.5. So, this is a line which going closest to all these points. It will never uh, satisfy these points because if you put x equal to 0 here y is 1.5, but our data point was 1. If you put x equal to 1, it y will be 2.5 and our data is 3, but this is the line which uh, goes closest to all these points and that is the least square solution. So, this is this is the uh, I can say that the best line fit line fit for the given data and this is the way we can find out the solution of this type of uh, least square solutions. Now, from this, so this way we can find all this one and this is the way we have able to found the solution. So, this is the least square solution and now I think uh, we should stop now. So, in the today's lecture, we have uh, discussed a very important application uh, about that if we have a data points, then how we can fit a line uh, which is either passing through all the points, but if it is not passing through all the points, then it should pass closest to all the point and that is done by the method of least squares and then we have discussed that how if the system is inconsistent, then how we can solve those system with the help of the projection. So, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this uh, lecture. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks very much.